Good morning. Well, it is nine o'clock in the morning. I was up at three, four o'clock in the morning trying to edit the Monday critique video. I, fin I didn't finish it. <laughs> I did not as I was just basically falling asleep at the computer. So I had to give it up. But today we are having a photo shoot today. The model is supposed to be here in about 30 minutes. I need to grab some breakfast and get myself awake. Like right now, I'm like totally sleepy. Uh, if you can't hear it in my voice. So I will catch you guys uh, when the model shows up. All right. Talk to you guys later. So guys, I literally have like about half an hour to eat some breakfast before the model shows up. And yeah, I need some, you know, unwinding time when I'm eating breakfast. I was like, that's like the most important thing to me every morning. It's, you know, it's a cliche, but it is, you know, if you ask my wife, she'll tell you. I cannot function without having breakfast. So, yeah. We're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> All right, breakfast is done and I'm waiting for the model. So, what are we doing today? So today we're gonna be trying to do a portrait. I'm not sure what type of portrait yet. I'm trying to go for something a little bit more timeless um but we'll see how it goes um it's not about creating a whole bunch of um portraits today it's just creating you know some key one or two key portraits that's really timeless and i'm going to walk you guys through exactly you know how i put those together right you know from beginning to end i'll show you guys exactly what i did all the issues that i have if any um but you'll see how it's get done all right, so guys, I hope you enjoy this um, little vlog slash video. Um, and I'll see you guys when the models show up. Okay, bye. So what do we got? So I have capelet shawl, I forget what they call these, but that's like a different silhouette. And then we have kind of like this flouncy desert colored thing. That one, guys, that one is really nice. I awesome. like that one. Okay. And then... We have the texture crazy collar shirt. I would try. It doesn't hurt to try. And then the nice sundress lace. This one too is a nice one. I like that one. By the way, this is Diana. Hi. I guess you guys met the You know what, Diana? Huh. A lot of people has commented on that video that we did. Oh yeah? They really like uh they really like your look. Oh thanks. So, that, that shoot was so, so they, fun. I'm so I'm sure they missed you. Okay. Good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> Very many other things, but oh yeah. Have a bag, bag lady. <laughs> that, was, that was a classic song back day. Oh yes. <laughs> so this is um, not white, but actually I like that. That's kind nice of too. Sheer and ombre. That's and nice. Classic. Back up. Thing. That's nice. I like those pieces. It's like time, timeless, like kind of the theme that we're going for. Yeah. yeah. And then, I don't know, uh, teal goes good with everything about me. So, I just brought <laughs> yeah. that just in case. Green and red, guys. Yes. Just remember that. <laughs> Green or red goes well. Never fail. So, I also have those.
All right, guys, so let me tell you about the setup that we had today. So we had this as our main light. This is the main light that I use. I started out with just this light just to see what it would do. Um, because what we used in a black background, what ended up happening is this light was lighting up our subject nice. However, when I started to photograph the subject, I noticed that she was kind of getting lost in the background because of the um, black background. So what I did was I introduced this reflector to help fill in the shadow areas on the subject because on the left side of the subject she had a little bit too much shadow on that side so I wanted to fill it in so this reflector helped to fill in some of the shadows a little bit. The problem was it wasn't doing an effective job. It wasn't giving her enough fill. I was using the silver side of the reflector to help bump some light back into the shadow areas. But because it wasn't filling in the shadows enough for me, what I ended up doing was actually utilizing this light here. Let me back up so you guys can see how it's set up. So basically I had this light bouncing off of the wall as it is right now. So you see right here, it was just bouncing off the wall, coming back and filling in the light on the subject here. Now that offers some nice little fill for the subject, so which was perfect. Next, what I introduced, because I wanted some a little bit a little bit of separation from the background, I introduced this speed light. Now Chris was holding the speed light and basically pointed it towards her head. And then I also basically had the speed light uh, position here hit in the background just like so so what that ended up doing is I eliminated the hair light and I basically had this light hidden in the background to help separate the subject from the background so that's pretty much was the light setup I started out with one and I ended up with three so I have that one that's one there that's the main light there and that was Phil, our friend Phil. Okay, so that was just filling in the shadow areas. So that was it, that was my three light setup. I hope you guys enjoy it. I need it more for like vacation, but I think that's more like a waste of um, cash, if you will, just for vacation. Um, yeah, we're talking about 40, 32. Well, 30, yeah, 3,600. Yeah. All right, so. Just turn your body a little bit more this way and then turn your head this way a little bit more and then eyes down. Turn your head a little bit more that way. Yeah. <laughs> right, turn, your, turn your body this way and then turn your head back a little bit more. Lower your shoulder this way. And then turn your chin up just a little bit. Turn your head more. And this eyes down. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's what you this shoulder here. Mm -hmm. Just turn it this way a little bit. And turn your head and then chin up a little bit more. Eyes down. Yeah, 
shoulder this way, sir? Yeah. And your hand, like how it is right now, this one here, it seems mm -hmm. like it's pressed, just bring it off the body. Let's switch this chair around. Let's do let's use it in some other. Alright, so I got in that light. Uh actually no. It's up off from that. So I just want to use so I just want you to use this chair mm -hmm. and push off of it. Okay. Close to that light. Let's see. Tilt your head just a little bit this way. Turn it up down there. Kind of like working through the theater too. Oh. So you're going to see and work. Yeah, oh. but not like on stage work, like um, like take tickets and talk to them. Let me do another test shot here. Otherwise, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Last time I had um, somebody. Oops. What happened there? Oops. I wasn't. Uh, I fell asleep. You haven't gotten to do what, Harriet? Hmm? You haven't gotten to do the wet hair yet? Or? No, 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 I got the wet hair. Oh. Um, no, I was going to say the last time um, I had an unplanned oh. um, wetting up the hair was um, when, it, when I was doing a workshop. Oh, outside. And, and it started to rain. <laughs> so I was like, I had to cancel the workshop or utilize the rain. There you go. And I was like, do you mind getting in the rain? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah, we got in the ring. <laughs> I'll show you the shot. Yeah, that's really fun. I wouldn't run that either. Let's do another test here. Okay. All right, so the light seems to be still here. Okay. Okay. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One. So now we're ready to rock and roll. Okay. Hey Chris, mm -hmm. um, come behind her a little bit. I want to include that in the in the shot just just to see what it's like. Uh, let's see. That's cool. A little bit closer. Or more to the actually. What what zoom is it on? Twenty four. Twenty four. So Twenty four. I was hoping for a wider spread of light. Can you turn it up soon? No, then it will blow out of here. Um, not a spot. Either. No, I mean not the light, but wider zoom out a little bit. Uh, I think 24 might be the widest, but see. 20. Oh, it's 20? Yeah. Let's go to 20. Yeah. Give me 20. Yeah, I know, about the uh, atmos atmosphere. Oh, how is it? It's nice. Man. It's nice. It's nice. And it doesn't linger. You know, it's just enough to get the effect, and then mm -hmm. it kind of goes away. away. That's cool. Yeah. I gotta try it. It's in my. It's in. It's actually in my car. I have no extra truck, so. It's it like uh, twelve, 
twelve bucks a bottle, so I bought two two cans. I gotta try it. I saw a lot of people using it. Yeah, it's nice. But then there's people saying that um, as far as using it in a house or something, that could catch fire or whatever. And I was like, eh, I don't know if I wanna. It's use better it than house. a fire machine. You know, it's yeah, yeah, it's much more efficient. Yeah. So I just I spray. You spray it for about twenty seconds, and then and you got to go. Sure. <laughs> The guns, the guns. <laughs> Up so we can hit the line. Okay. Oh, I'm not in the line. Yeah. No, I'm just checking my composition to see if it even makes sense. Okay. Um, and we're not getting any tree light on that side if we do it that way. So. So you have to come over this for a little bit, this, this one. Yeah. And I'm hoping that's not too much light on me. So, let's see. If it's too much light, then you know what to do. Scoot over that way. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, hang on. This is just a test. See what the light is like. You've been popping my hit the wrong way? Yeah, too much power. You want me to turn the zoom back to 24? Because it's still on 20. It's still on. No, it's, uh, yeah, put it back on 20. This is still a test of the emergency broadcasting system. So, <laughs> yeah, that light is not hitting in that direction. So we're gonna have to do a different uh, four, four. So multiple ways to skin a cat. So mm -hmm. let's try. Just bring it across if you can. So, yeah. Diana, just yeah. turn your body a little bit towards me so I could get more of your face. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Just hold that. And then that right leg, you want to bring it up more so you get more shape. And that 
there's one more adjustment that I need you to make, which is I want you to lean your head forward. Toward you? No, me. towards the wall a little bit. All right, and I'll tell you in a minute why. Now put your hands up. All right, that hand, I want, I want to see more of the finger, so bring it around over this way a little bit. Okay. And the reason I'm trying to move your head uh, forward is so that we could get rid of those wrinkles on your neck. Okay. All right. Uh, so now your hair is blocking your face. So you want to bring it across. All right. Turn your body a little bit more so this way. And this hand. Let me hold your hair. Mm -hmm. Bring your hand down. There we go. Bring it down more. Right there. Just lean your upper body this way, this way. And see where I'm at? Mm -hmm. If you could angle your body a little bit this way. Hold on. Bring your, bring your hands that a little bit. Push it. No, not your body. Your hands. Push it. Push it. You know that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. That's what that's I was called. like, my hands are really weird. That's what that's called. That's it's okay. called an elbow. <laughs> I was going to say it's different in Jamaica, right? Yes. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so we just wrapped up this photo shoot. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog style photo shoot. I know it's not like the, you know, the standard ones that you're used to. But I'm trying something different and I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy as much as I am, you know, all the content that we put in out here. All right, guys. So I want to thank Diana who did an awesome job with the modeling today. She was very patient with me. She got some guns workout and some back workout, leg workout, full body workout. We try to give them all the full, full experience here. So Diana, tell us where can we meet with you on the social media world? Thank you. Um, it's dianamcqueen.com or uh, on Twitter it's Diana McQueen and it's also Diana McQueen on Instagram, which awesome. is my favorite. <laughs> awesome. And I want to thank Chris, who's an awesome photographer and videographer. If you haven't checked out his work, Chris, where, what is your work? Could be rich. CJL Media on Instagram and also Facebook is CJL Media Group. Yeah, check out Chris. Chris will be all over the place, more than me. You know, Chris <laughs> is a very popular guy. Um, so today we just did some basic portraits and as you know guys I've been struggling with my creativity So Diana has been so awesome to help me out with pushing me back into that creative realm I hope you guys love it if you did hit that thumbs up button put some comments down below Share this video with your friends and family and lastly hit that subscribe button. It's somewhere over there here. it's over here or it's over there it's over, over there chris knows it's there <laughs> okay so hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next video thank you bye bye <laughs>